Hi, Sirius Riz here, back with another Distance Incremental video, episode 15, and it's been, well, not much time since last episode. I'm gonna now actually look at this, transform a spectral gem into an angel, which means, I'm, I'm just gonna do this, you have one angel, um, you have six heavenly chips, translated to a 30% boost to the rewards of space on, solars and eternity, but also make demonic souls and their effect divide by this much, and it can do, um, a demonic soul here translated to an increase of of perk strength, but they also make heavenly chips effect divide by that much. So it looks like I should probably just do um it forms of infinity reset. That's okay. I'm probably just gonna it looks like I just wanna do either one or the other. So I'm just gonna do the heavenly chips because cookie clicker reference. I'm gonna see if I can't I can actually now get all four at once. That's amazing. I can also have so much ascension power that I should probably just be getting as many, at least getting these going. And it looks like it's actually, and there's also the star purge run, which is, it starts, it makes the canceling out of, it says, it performs an affinity reset, disables pantheon features, and just traps you in all stadium challenges without reality at difficulty level one. In addition, velocity gain is cube rooted. So, is this okay that that's an achievement um it's something i probably shouldn't even have already um and and then i can gain purge power out of it somehow so it's exit purge run for four purge power i'm not sure what it says it makes the canceling out of oh so i can just do this except oh this is not like okay it's interesting it's not it's like cookie clicker where it's not retroactive. I'm not sure how to word it, but sometimes it's like you can do like sometimes like in a game like cookie clicker or venture capitalist, your prestige currency gain is based on like the total amount of number you've gotten in all resets. But in games like Antimatter Dimensions, it's just based on the current reset. So yeah, also I probably should just be using two Spectral gems. I don't know. I, at the very least, I can do that while I go here and just get these upgrades. Because acceleration, level, energy, and purge power gain are synergized. Heavenly chip and demonic soul gain are boosted by endorsements. The time doesn't exist reward. Soft cap is multiplied by your purge power to seven. Raise it to seventeen, and then the cadaver effects. Soft cap is eighty percent weaker. Right. I'm actually. I'm in a purge run right now. I should probably just, I can, yeah, I can gain 14 purge power now. So now maybe I can get an, an endorsement, perhaps. I'm getting E26 knowledge every second. And the next one is here is scale, dark core, and hyper rank scaling is weaker based on endorsements. So I probably should just be using these perks right now because um, this should help things. And maybe what I can do, maybe I can do the infinity reset and get this and then get this as well and perhaps that does something what is this achievement here that's yeah i need to go into eternity um challenge there so oh no there's an endorsement right there so boom endorsement um i'm not really sure oh yeah okay okay and i can now get this which means that i'm oh, yeah, i can get the next one here scale pathogen upgraded scaling is 84 percent weaker that's that's another endorsement right there and 8, 1, and 3, 8 are stronger based on perch power. So this one and this one are stronger based on perch power. So this probably is another endorsement. Wait, no, I unlocked the next mechanic. I'm, I'm going to do it here because it's, guess what? I, I said I was going to do two mechanics this episode. So yeah, distance. So it's telling me my distance, velocity, acceleration. And there's derivative shifts. This is just antimatter dimensions, right? What is this even gonna do? Oh, jerk! One meter per second cube. That's what it does. Interesting. It changes the most basic mechanic of the game. <laughs> um, so that means acceleration is now increasing. I can probably do it again. Snap off the rails, which is um, yeah, two derivative shifts. I can get another endorsement from infinity. And another one, and probably a third as well. Okay, maybe not a third. And now this 
This is the final set of Infinity Upgrades. 81 upgrades. That is a massive amount of upgrades right there. Um, so, yeah, this one is Jerk Boost Accelerational Energy and Knowledge Gain. And then this is just Derivative Shifts and Boost as the Rocket Effects. I'm, I'm just going to read through these. Angels and Demons are synergized and scaled endorsement scaling starts one later. Barely know what any of this does, but it's obviously doing something because I... I'm now, the endorsements are now scaled. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I'm, at, I'm at 30 endorsements. I should probably just do, oh, it looks like there's no, it doesn't go any more than four dimensions or four derivatives. So, um, there's another endorsement right there. Gotta get that. Derivative boost, boost time speed. That seems powerful. Passage and upgrades are 1% stronger for every endorsement you have. That means it's 31% stronger, which I feel like is pretty powerful. Probably should get these. These now last for like 2 minutes and 15 seconds. I should probably start getting the Enlightenments as well. So, I'll just get those. And then, get the next upgrade. Super scale, rank and tier scalings are weaker based on your Debonic Souls. Derivative boosts give a better boost to derivatives based on your rank. And then, I'm not even sure what my rank is. It's probably, it's 272. That's how crazy it is. And then, what is this? This is 1.5 E34. I'm going to unlock that in about 5 seconds. Rocket gain is multiplied by n plus 1 to 0 1 power, where n is your time cubes, and it soft caps with hyper value, higher values. Um, okay. Um, okay, I'll get that, and I can get another endorsement out of that. Let's just look at the numbers real quick. E3 E5 universes. That's crazy. That's like E3 50,000. Rockets. E240,000. I can probably just do this, and yeah, now it's just in it's in the microseconds now. And also, this is E175. So, I have E240,000 time cubes, E18,000 cadavers, E80 pathogens, a dark flow of E107, which means that like my dark matter is E169. And yeah, this is insane. I can get this Infinity 97, or this one is stronger based on your tier. Unlock, wow, five new pathogen upgrades. That that seems like the most OP thing ever. <laughs> so one of the upgrades just unlocks five upgrades. Super scaled rock, rocket fuel scaling. Starts later based on, based on your pathogens. Okay. <laughs> scaled dark core scaler based, based, I can't even, I can't even read these now. Scaled Dark Core Scaling starts later based on your rocket fuel. Pathogen Upgrade 5 gets two extra levels. Why is that? <laughs> Interesting. That, that's an upgrade. Um, scaled and Super Scaled Rank Scalings are weaker based on your Dark Cores. Scaled Endorsement Scaling is slightly weaker. Now I am at rank 705. Somehow I reached rank 705. Which I think is crazy. Next upgrade here is 2039. So that's actually... Gonna take a little bit, except I'm getting so many endorsements that it's not even gonna take that much. I can get another derivative boost here. I should probably get another spectral gem or something. I I, I feel like it. I mean, if I do this, it'll make this actually makes that increase somehow. So, yay! It's gonna make things even more OP. And then, okay, yeah, it's these perks. That's why I'm not getting more endorsements. There's 35. I could probably reach 36 soon. Ascension power gain is boosted by your rocket fuel. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I barely know what any of this means anymore because there's just so much and it's so fast. Ranks and tiers do not boost derivative. Do not reset derivatives beyond acceleration. Okay, and then I also got another achievement into the next century. It's reach that much ascension power. And the reward is the universe doesn't exist. Achievement, use a slightly better formula. What even is this? Is this just, yeah, these, this is reach 25 kilometers while in reality's stadium challenge in difficulty level six. Okay, I, just, I should probably just enter reality's stadium challenge here and I'll probably get it. Yep, complete the stadium challenge. I could even try the eternity one, to attempt to get that one. Uh, no, I'm not, unfortunately. Um, but I can, I can still complete the challenge and just move on here. 
Um, the spectral gem requirement starts earlier. This probably means I'm going to get more spectral gems. Multipliers to derivatives beyond velocity erases the power of four. Wow, that seemed that yeah that that seemed OP. Why can't I click this? Okay, that, that's really weird. I'm clicking it and it's just not working. Next one is E40, 5E43. Um, knowledge, hyper rate scaling is 2% weaker. And then this one is ascension power gain is 10 times faster. That's really good. And then knowledge gain is boosted by N plus 1 to the 0 0.2 where N is your ascension power. So that's really good. I need 2E44 for that. And I now have enough ascension power. At least I can get this. If not more, like I, I, it looks like these are increasing with every upgrade I get instead of decreasing. So I should now just get it as much as I want. So now this means that I have all of the infinity upgrades, all of them. And with the Pantheon, I can probably just do one and two um, demons. And that seems good. Maybe I should do a purge run at this point. Um, because I can gain 60 purge power. So, there's another another achievement. Um, reach 30 purge power. All perks last twice as long. And looks like I just unlocked the next mechanic. And I've heard this one's a big one. So, yeah. I'm actually going to do a live stream of this one. So, yeah. This is very interesting. Just This game is way too fast. It's almost like True Infinity, except the mechanics are better thought out than in True Infinity. Because that's just numbers going crazy. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.